All right. Different shot. Let's take a look at this. This is not Spider-Man for once. Let's look at the reference. Uh, and I looked at this already before, and you mentioned that the original looks more pushed uh, than your animation. And I agree. There's just some very... Uh, switch to here. Very, very nice lines here. Especially stuff like this. It's a really nice forms it's hard to see sometimes with the lighting but even through this this is neat too with the with the reversal going into this how far he goes even that just really really nice lines That's all cool. And then the X is just to jump out. Um, and it's cool. It's cool to see this, you know, when a human does that. My thing is always that if you translate this into animation, it just becomes... I'm just not a massive fan. This is, this is, has nothing to do with your animation. But it's just not as interesting. I had a couple things here. When I watch this, this feels too broad in terms of the body going left and right. He was a bit more self-contained. And there's something slightly separated where I see a breakthrough here. There's a lot of movement through there, but it doesn't quite match. It feels like there's just a counter. This moves this way, this moves this way, but at a different speed. While, I don't know, there's a locked foot there. And there's something about this step that doesn't quite feel like it's supporting the weight. Like there's so much going on here but it doesn't quite affect the the weight and the balance here. I know there's something that feels slightly too separate and it's a bit too harsh arc-wise where that feels like it's going this way. And then it's a pretty straight path this way and it kind of stops. Let's bring back the reference here. There's something much smaller and I see there's something bigger in, in the arc of his arms. And it's like he switches that leg over to kind of rebalance and then does all of this while this is thing put there. Let's go down here. Or see how far already this move is. It's just so much bigger. And that move is almost too late. Like you need to adjust that. It's almost like he readjusts for balance so that he can do that move. Not too bad, but then this gets a bit slow through here. That kind of works. But then this gets a bit dead here. And I know he does. Let's bring it back up here. Hold on. There you go. See, I still see some. It's like a moving hole. Like he keeps going forward and down into those poses. But here just kind of stops and then does that back and forth. Which just also doesn't have as much power and snappiness as he goes out. It's just more and more snappy. Even that has a bit of a slow feel. And also the constant bent legs gives it a bit of a... Just less of a... Um, dynamic and elegant look to it. What does he do in real time? This seems just fully stretched. I mean, there's a bend here, but still, like overall, to me, I would push down and, and just stretch those legs out. But the thing is, if I look at this, right, there's just something just not... There's always a difference when you see it in real life, right? Was like a human does that, and it's impressive to see. But then in this case, you know, you could start that beginning... And you can almost change a couple of things where you can hold or maybe he goes up a bit for the anticipation and does a really nice smooth down into this with a pow, a bigger push. Not that he has to get off the ground, but there's just some moments that I would that would push and hold and hold this a bit longer to go a bit faster into this and then really push those moments a lot more than the real life reference. And again, this I would potentially hold into something and then get into this a bit faster, 
really push this maybe potentially get higher but definitely stretch out the legs because i'm not just quite seeing the value of just copying the reference this goes on beyond into you know even if you have the standing on martial arts it just ends up being just movement and there's not that much there's no conflict there's not that much interest to watch now this is just me and some people might love watching this either because it's martial arts or or dancing um you know and obviously there are some great examples of just that they're just move but it's so really well done and the timing is pushed but right now your timing it's it's just not push enough and it's not as elegant as the the real life counterpart here so i wonder to me at least i would push this push the timing push the poses exaggerate more just take some liberties here and there um and to me it's even not that you have to do this but if i have a shot like this what if you know what if there's a couch here with his cat this is his living room and and maybe he's he's cooking here there's something that he does but he needs to go from a to b and he's holding something that he's going to use here but he's so into it maybe he has headphones on and he's he's so into this moment that he does all this and when he does this it's a bigger jump you know over maybe maybe it's just a little bed with the dog or cat and he does this when he jumps over it and then dog or cat has like this weird bewildered look of what the hell are you doing here and then he gets back and instead of the jump out he kind of slides into place to do whatever he needs to do maybe maybe he prepares lunch for the pets you know maybe at the very beginning when he starts off here he does kind of a hey you like pointing towards the pets and he shows that maybe he has the pet food here and maybe here is the bowl you know what i mean he goes and then he points at it like it's full on pantomime hey i got your food here and the dog's head goes up and the and the, the, the way the uh, tail wags can't even talk anywhere and then he does his whole thing here and then jumps over it holding the can and everything and at the end instead of the jump he goes down and then opens the thing and the food comes out and then, and the and you know the dog comes up and takes a couple steps and maybe those couple steps are also very similar to that dancing where you know pet owners become their dogs or vice versa like that to me would be you can use this reference but then push this and do something more out of it and just kind of change the environment to give it a bit more story a bit more context a bit more humor uh versus just kind of imitating uh you know the the live action counterpart all right but again this is very subjective uh you can do obviously whatever you want but that is uh just my view on this all right thanks all right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.